Things to remember when you're planning a funeral. Planning a funeral is never easy. Trying to plan a ceremony that respects the wishes of your loved one and all the family members involved is complicated, and doing it under such stressful circumstances makes it that much harder. It can be hard to manage emotions while taking care of all the details that go into organizing a funeral. This video will show you a few things to remember when planning a funeral. 1. Communication is key. When planning a funeral for your loved one, it's important to take each family member's wishes into consideration. If your loved one documented their funeral wishes before they passed, then you have a guideline to follow and most family members will readily get on board with the plan. But if the deceased never previously expressed their wishes for their funeral, then it's up to the family to decide what it will look like. Since a funeral is such a major part of the grieving process, it's important to consider everyone's opinions. Keep the lines of communication open and try to make decisions objectively and rationally. Work on a funeral plan that will allow everyone to express their sorrow while also celebrating their loved one's life. 2. Decide on burial or cremation. Whether it's burial or cremation, you'll have to choose a location. If it's a burial, you need to choose a burial ground. For cremation, pick a good location to scatter the ashes. Not forgetting the coffin or casket for burial or an urn to store the ashes for cremation. 3. Choose a venue and date for the funeral. The funeral planning process holds a bigger part, that is where to conduct the service. It's wise to pick a place where it's suitable to hold a funeral service. Some common venues include crematorium temple, church, private residence, local hall and hotel. If you plan to hold a religious service, the minister will direct you on the things that you can and can't do. The final step is to choose a date for the funeral service. 4. An obituary should be meaningful. Work with family members to write a meaningful obituary for your loved one. Take the time to reflect on the most important aspects of their life that you want to honor. Create a list of people whose names should be included in the obituary. Decide which newspapers or online websites where you want the obituary to be published on. Be prepared for some outlets to charge a significant fee which is often based on the number of words in the obituary. 5. Handle announcements efficiently. Create a list of names and recruit the help of your family members to begin reaching out. Decide how to best notify people of when the services are taking place. Announcements can be mailed, emailed, or delivered via telephone. Also, consider reaching out to your loved one's alma mater so that the alumni office can inform their classmates. 6. Book a professional live streaming service. Nowadays, many of us have family members and friends spread across the globe. This can make attending a funeral in person tricky, especially at short notice. Live streaming a funeral service means that people can join the service from anywhere in the world. Live streaming has also been increasingly popular since the pandemic, as large gatherings may not be possible. You could consider enlisting the help of a professional live streaming provider like Mediaden Live. Providers like Mediaden Live will make arrangements for the funeral service to be live streamed from start to finish, allowing you to focus on family members during what is sure to be a difficult time. Professional live stream providers like Mediaden Live allows loved ones at home or overseas to watch the funeral services live through mobile, laptop, tablet, computer, or television. The live stream can be viewed virtually from any national or international location. Mediaden Live on-site live streaming director with professional high-quality cameras captures the moments and touches of the service to help viewers feel as though they were there. Mediaden Live provides all technical aspects so you can focus on celebrating the life of your loved one. 7. Discuss financial matters. Funerals can be very expensive so don't shy away from discussing financial matters. If you need financial assistance, reach out to the other family members or your close kin. If your budget is tight, look for other options. Do some research as prices for funeral homes from one place to another can vary drastically and by researching, you can pick the suitable one among them. 8. Create a personalized ceremony. When planning a funeral, these days there are endless options to choose from when it comes to the format of the service. Many people incorporate a mix of religion, remembrance, spirituality, and a celebration of life into funerals. This combination can appease many family members by accommodating everyone's wishes. 
There are event planners and funeral home staff who can help with logistics and allow you to create a unique funeral that is a true reflection of your loved one. 9. Write down everything. You may think that you have all the details of the funeral committed to memory, but don't underestimate the effect that emotional stress can have on you. While there are some great ways to manage stress, it will likely still affect you on the day of the funeral. Stress combined with sadness can make it hard to remember details, especially as you are being pulled in a hundred different directions. To ensure that all of your careful planning pays off, have all of your logistics written out in a planning document. Share it with other key family members and funeral home staff members who will be playing a part in facilitating the funeral. This type of organization will ensure everyone is on the same page and that no detail is forgotten. 10. Arrange the funeral transport. The first thing you should do is, make a call and quickly make an arrangement to transport the deceased from the place of passing to a funeral home. Be prepared for a second transfer anytime as in some cases, it requires the deceased to be transferred to another funeral home or another town. In conclusion with some proper planning and a few tips, the funeral process can be made easier for everyone. Simply remember these things and you'll be able to honor your loved one's memory in the perfect way. Thanks for watching. If you like our video then hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more valuable videos.